continuing from my last video where we stopped here and we said that 6 divided by this is what we said 6 divided by 1000 1000 gives you 0 0.006 okay so now let us focus only on hundreds I showed this only to show you how the decimal point moves okay or the number moves whichever way you see it's the same thing now what happens if suppose you have a decimal number suppose you've got 12.5 over 100 so here the decimal point will move two places to the left so you can write this as 0. Point or you don't need to write zero there you can also write point point one two five that's fine okay but some people don't like you can write the zero there okay so this is only a placeholder okay so if it is say one seventy nine over one hundred so here yeah, the decimal point is after nine okay so sitting here it's invisible so this is this will become this decimal point will move two places to the left why because 100 has two zeros so that becomes 1.79 now why did i spend so much of time here in dividing by 100 because that's what we're going to do when finding divide when finding percent of a given quantity okay so when you're dividing by 10 i'll also explain by dividing by 10 what happens Okay, so when you divide by suppose any number, say 1, 15 divided by 10, okay, here the decimal point is after 15, so this will become, this is pretty easy, 1.5. So if you think about it, this is a, a process I've explained, but if you think about it, uh, when you're dividing by 10, you're making this 1 tenth, okay. So, one-tenth of 15 is 1.5, or to do this in a different way, this implies 1.5 times 10 gives you 15, or one and a half times 10 gives you 15. This and this are the same statement. Okay, now, I want to explain some other facts before we move on. So, if you know one-half, one half is five out of ten. So how did I do? I have made this, multiplied this number with five. So I also multiply this number with five. Five tenths is same as fifty out of hundred. And fifty out of hundred means fifty percent. You should be knowing this. One half is 50%. 50 out of 100 is same as 1 out of 2. Let us look at a quarter. A quarter can be changed, the denominator 4 can be changed into a 100. If you know 4 times 25 is a 100. Okay. Or 25 times 4 is 100 or 4 times 25 is 100. So if you multiply the do bottom number, that is the denominator by 25, you do the same thing to the top number. So this is 25 out of 100, which is 25%. Now these facts are very useful when you're finding percent. Okay, what's the next? If you have one-fifth, think about it, one-fifth can I write as something out of 10? So you should find it very pretty easy. Phi goes in 10 how many times? So we know phi goes in 10 twice. Or so 5 times 2 is 10. So you do the same thing to the top number. Times 2. That is 2 out of 10. And I want to write up as a 100. So again I'm going to write a 100 here. So 10 goes in 100 how many times? So that's pretty easy. 10 times 10 is 100. So you do the same thing to the top number. So this is 20 out of 100, which is 20%. Now these facts, if you know off your head, you can be a genius. Okay, 
half is 50 percent a quarter is 25 percent one fifth is 20 percent and if you don't know it doesn't matter you can think through it and get the answer and finally one tenth one tenth is 10 out of 100 the same logic 10 goes in 100 10 times so multiply the denominator with 10 so it also multiply the top with 10 so this is 10 percent and finally one more 100 1 out of 100 is 1 percent so we have seen 1 percent okay 1 percent is 100 10 percent is 1 tenth 20 percent is 1 fifth 25 percent is a quarter and 50 percent is a half okay so let us use these facts to find some percent so you want to calculate calculate you don't want to use a calculator calculate uh, say 26 percent of I put I'm um, just thinking of three numbers neat numbers say one twenty dollars B say sixty uh, say sixty five dollars and C say eighteen dollars okay we need to think through this so I'll start uh, whenever I want to find any percent it's always good to write 10 percent and 1 percent so this is how I write so 10 percent I'm thinking 10 percent is 1 tenth okay 10 percent is 1 tenth this is what should come to your mind so I can say okay if 10 percent is 1 tenth I'm thinking okay let me write that it's always good to write so can I say I'm thinking what is 1 tenth of 120 so you divide 120 if you if you want to find 1 tenth simply divide this by 10 so that is 12 dollars okay so you have found 10 percent okay so now can i write 10 percent is 12 dollars okay so now you can find so how much would be 20 percent if 10 percent is 12 so 20 percent is double of this that is 24 okay now uh, can you write uh, okay so if 10 percent is 12 I'll do this in the next video or oh, so if 10 percent is 12 let me draw a line here so that it doesn't get confused okay so here let me scroll down so 10 percent is 10 percent is 12 so how much is 5 percent it's all proportional thinking if 10 percent is 12 5 percent is half of 12 which is 6 okay and what is 1 percent from again uh, how should I write I should let me cancel this so can I say from 10 percent can I write one percent so one percent is one tenth of this okay again 10 percent is one tenth of this or one percent is one hundredth of this okay, one hundred or one ten one percent is one tenth of ten percent so let me write that one percent is one tenth of ten percent so i know ten percent is twelve so one percent has to be one point two now you may wondering why do, why am i doing this i want to find twenty six percent so i know twenty percent is twenty four what is five percent five percent is six and one percent is one point two so 
just like that I have to add them so 20 plus 25 plus 1 which is 26 percent is equal to this you can write as 0 0.0 this is 0, 0 and this is again adding decimals when you're adding decimals it's you have to line up the decimal points. So this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11 point and 2 plus 1 is 3. So 26 percent of which number 120 would be 13.2. I'll continue this in the next week, uh, video.